so here we are again with another uh, boolean expression which we have to design using digital logic gates so we have two expressions y1 y subscript 1 which is a bar b plus a b bar and y2 which is a b plus a bar b bar okay so again first we have to determine what logic gates are required the not operation or inversion operation clearly indicates we will require a not gate the and operation a b a bar b a b bar a b a bar b bar it represents we will require and gate and the plus sign it represents or operation so will require a or gate as well so first let us get y1 so for that we have two signal values here a and b so let us get that a b we have to first get a bar so for that uh, inverter or not gate we'll get a bar then we have to perform a and operation here to get a bar b then we have to get b bar so for that we have to pass it through an inverter for which we'll get b bar and then we have to end it with a okay so we have to take this signal from here and again we have to give it to a two input and gate so we'll get a b bar so we got the individual terms a bar b a b bar this here represents that it is not going through it it's overlapping it okay it is not shorted so a bar b a b bar now we have to give them to a two input or gate which will be the final output a bar b or a b bar this is y subscript 1 we got the first okay we, we have got the first output y1 now we will design the second okay let us erase this okay you have uh, drawn this i will now erase it the second so we have to first get the individual terms so again a b first directly a and b and we get a b then we have to pass them through inverters or not gates So this is A bar, this is B bar and then we have to pass them through a AND gate which will give us A bar, B bar, okay. A, B this is directly passed through a AND gate, A, B. Then A is passed through a NOT gate or inverter to get A bar. B is passed through a NOT gate or inverter to get B bar. Then these two signals are ANDed together to get A bar and b bar now we have to add them or we have to pass them through a or gate okay these two signals so we got the final output a b plus a bar b bar okay so we have got the two signals y1 and y2 now if you look closely at these two expressions you can if you remember this is the XOR gate output this a bar b plus a b bar this is the XOR gate output and this is the XNOR gate 
output okay this is the XOR gate output this is the XNOR gate output so basically what we did is that we designed the XOR gate using the basic logic gates NOT AND OR here we designed the XNOR gate using the basic logic gates NOT AND and OR so if you don't want to go into this complication you can directly get these two outputs by using XOR and XNOR gates so basically it is okay A B it will give us Y1 equals to A bar B plus A B bar which is the XOR gate or to get the second output a B will get XNOR output A B A bar B bar this is the XNOR gate output okay so you can directly do that you can directly do that otherwise you can go for the basic logic gates okay so basically i wanted to make you understand i deliberately chose these two uh, boolean expressions of xor and xnor so you can directly go for this or you can design them using the individual basic logic gates non not and or okay so these are uh, some of the uh, boolean expressions these are simple ones now we'll go for complicated uh, expressions okay where it would uh, consist of three or more terms and uh, more signal values will be involved okay